what's up everybody it's your girl Tamika and I was just coming to you guys yes I'm getting ready to head out to work but I had to serve y'all a little purple realness um so anyway I was heading out to work and I saw some come across my timeline and I just wanted to speak on it and after I get done with this I'm about to retire this thing known as Wendy Wendell Williams okay I'm going to retire her because or it or whatever it is him her it I I don't know I'm tired of it and it's so much going on in the world so much serious stuff with Rachel's tension people getting shot and killed for no reason this world is just going completely nuts so it's so much going on in the world that I don't really have the time nor the energy to keep dragging this thing okay and part of me is like here you go again about to drag Wendell here you go and it's not like I'm trying to keep dragging her because I don't but she's always doing ignorant shit and it's like, part of me drags her because you are too intelligent for this shit, okay? Wendell. Wendy Wendell. You are too intelligent for this shit, and I'm tired of it, okay? I'm just saying. So, what happened was, I was going through my timeline and kind of found out from several sources... From Yahoo News, from Page Six, from The Rap. All of them have stated a couple days ago that Wendy Williams has fired like three of her three of her producers due to the backlash from the HS from her HSBCU and Jesse Williams comments that she made. And I'm like, what? Why though? Like, why? And supposedly because, you know, she got so much backlash that something had to be done. You know how it is when you get so much backlash, you got to point the finger at somebody. So I guess she's going to fire three of her producers to show that things have been done to rectify the situation and also that the show is moving into a different direction. And that's part of the reason why supposedly these people got let go. But me personally, I'm not buying it. Let me tell y'all. And there's another reason why I go off on Wendy Williams and why I drag her so much. Because throughout all this dragging, I used to have a lot of respect for her. And I just wanted her to be real. I just wanted her to be herself. You know, a lot of times these celebrities can't be themselves they have to hide behind so much their persona um what they believe that you know the public wants from them or what sponsors or record exists whatever whoever they have to answer to whatever they want or expect so i've never really Respected as much as I respected her hustle and respected the fact that you know she was in her mid 40s when she got her talk show. And by me being 35, I was like, Wow, there's hope for me. Look at her, she really started hitting her strive in her mid 40s. And I'm like, If she can do it, I know I can do it. And I've always reminded her hustle because she's made sacrifices. She stepped out of her comfort zone, and that's something that I'm working on, and she's made it. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me, y'all. So, a lot of my anguish has come from the fact that she's smarter than this. She knows better than this, okay? Period. All her backhanded comments that she's made throughout the years, like about how she was ashamed to be black, you know, after watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and how... She was so tired of, you know, people fighting on TV after watching Basketball Wise. But now, 
She's asking for people to fight on TV. She's like, that's what we're here for. So it's like, bitch, make up your mind. But, however the case, I'm just sick of her and her, her less than smart actions lately. First, her less than smart comments about the HSBCU and Jesse Williams speech. And now, instead of just being a grown woman and dealing with the backlash... Okay, you call in Roland Martin to educate you, and, you know, you make a little apology. But just to ensure that you don't lose any more money since you done lost that Chevy endorsement, now you're going to fire three producers, and if they put a gun to your head and told you to, you know, be ignorant or something like that. And it's like, Wendy Williams, stand in your shit, but you never will, though. You never will. You don't do that. You're a freaking coward. You go around, you say your shit, and you talk about everybody, and you force your opinions on everybody else. But when the heat gets too hot for you, you either ignore it or you run away and try to like, I don't know. You become a coward. That's all I can say. You become a freaking coward. You know, you want to, like, backpedal and pussy pop, as my boy James Caldwell says. And that's not cool. And you firing these people who had nothing to do with your ignorant statements. Because this is how I feel. Even if I know what producers do. I, again, I'm not stupid. This is what I want to do with my life. So I know the role of the host, the producer, the executive producer, and all that. The producer comes in and, you know, briefs you on all the trending topics or whatever. And you are supposed to give your opinion on said topics. Okay. But that does not mean that they're putting a gun to your head to speak on it or to say something crazy. Like, they probably did tell you to talk about Jesse Williams' speech and how he's getting a lot of backlash. Your job is to say your opinion. You could have said something else. You could have said something like, you know, it was very poignant, you know, very eloquently spoken. And, you know, try to uh, and try to be like and try to say something as though like, you know, it was very poignant, very well spoken, but Maybe some of the backlash comes from a lack of understanding. You know, maybe a lot of people feel like they need to, you know, petition to be off Grey's Anatomy because they don't understand what his speech was about, the message in his speech in which it was delivered. You know, you can say something like that. Instead of just going all into this tangent about how, you know, you would be offended if it was a white-only school universities which there are and why it was poignant and why his why Jesse Williams speech was poignant it you can see how it can rub people the wrong way. It's like you just said all that and no one put a gun to your head. So for you to sit there and let three of your producers lose their jobs so allegedly on on something that you said out of your mouth. You said it. And this is why I can't fuck with you, Wendy. Wendell. That's your name, Wendy Wendell. Okay? Because I don't know what you are. I don't know if you're a woman, a man. I don't know. So I'm just going to call you both. You're probably hermaphrodite. I don't know. But Wendy Wendell, I'm going to need you to smarten up. I'm going to need you to own up to your shit. First of all, stop acting as if everything in your life is perfect. Because it's not. And you give advice to these women as if your relationship is so perfect and you know you're giving all this stupid ass advice like I remember you told someone to you know leave their husband and if they cheated but you didn't leave your husband not at all not at all you still sticking by him he's still at Evelyn Lozada's you know store buying women his other women's shoes you know well probably not because i think evelyn's store is closed now but however the case yeah he's still buying other bitches shoes 
and all that. So yeah. So you telling him, you telling people to, you know, leave your husband. You ain't left yours. You know, you telling people about table, uh, kitchen table talk, about how you have to watch what you say and watch your words and all that. Well, what you said about HC, HBCUs and Jesse Williams was t kitchen table talk too. That's why your butt's in trouble. So follow your own advice instead of, instead of making innocent people the scapegoat, okay? Now... I'm done with you, okay? Like I said, I'm retiring your ass. Cause I'm tired of talking about you. I'm just sick of you. Like, seriously. So, anyway, y'all. Till next time. Peace. Bye, love. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.